The following is an excerpt from the Daily Crypto Codex email newsletter. Sign up now for free here Elon Musk, the Tesla billionaire who last year could create and destroy billions of dollars in crypto value with his erratic and whimsical tweets, has failed to much move the market with his latest inflation-based overtures. Musk tweeted he didn't plan on selling his undisclosed personal crypto holdings, which includes Bitcoin, Ethereum and the meme-based Dogecoin. While the price of Dogecoin briefly popped higher, it quickly fell back. Read the full story on Forbes. Now read this, Biden's executive order to fuel a bank Bitcoin boom cryptocurrency prices are broadly flat this morning, however, Terra Luna is charging higher, up almost 10%. At the other end of the scale, Ripple's XRP has given up gains it made over the weekend following a positive development for Ripple in its long-running legal battle with the Securities and Exchange Commission SEC. Make or break, Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies are braced for two seismic developments this week. First, European Union lawmakers will vote on a proposed rule that could force proof-of-work cryptocurrencies such as Bitcoin to shift to more energy-friendly consensus mechanisms. The vote is happening this morning after revisions to the bill's text over the weekend. The block has the latest. Second, El Salvador is expected to launch its $1 billion, Bitcoin-backed bomb that's designed to fund the country's Bitcoin city powered by geothermal energy from a nearby volcano, and the buying of even more Bitcoin. What's being said, the E. U.S. vote is very much undecided, Coindesk reported on Sunday. Extremely high stakes vote in the EU, founder of CirclePay and co-creator of the U.S. deceased stablecoin Jeremy Allaire, said via Twitter. That such a proposal made it this far is extraordinarily concerning and unlikely to stand up to practical reality. Meanwhile, Reuters reports Russia's invasion of Ukraine could derail El Salvador's plans. If this is a failure, a lot of doors close, Carlos Acevedo, a former president of El Salvador's central bank told the Financial Times. This issuance is going to define a lot. Why it matters, the two key developments this week highlight the growing international divergence on Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies, a split that's also reflected in the worlds of finance and technology. While one side wants to embrace crypto, the other sees it as a dangerous threat to stability. Now read this, inheriting Bitcoin is harder than it sounds, 